The capital of Japan is one of the most populated cities in the world. Mobility is essential. So much about our human bodies is instinctive. We don't have to think to walk. It's virtually subconscious. But that's not the case for everybody. Tasks that we take for granted can seem next to impossible for those who have lost movement. But just outside of Tokyo, something big is happening that could change all of that. Step by step. Presented by Mauser Electronics, Microchip Technology, Intel, Analog Devices, and Molex. This is Generation Robot. Outside of the city, we're visiting a facility whose technology isn't just transforming an industry, but people's lives as well. A union of humans and robotic systems. I always consider the relationship between the human and technologies, humans' issues and information issues and physical issues work together and these technologies will be fused. So that's the idea behind how to combine man and machine. Yes, and how work according to the human's intentions. Hal's technology is tied to the cerebral nerves, so mentally triggering the motion creates bioelectric signals, which surface sensors read to carry out the response. These devices can be used for promoting the treatment of stroke patients or the spinal cord injury patients or ALS, muscular dystrophy, and so on. This fusion of man, machine, and information gives patients an opportunity to redefine personal mobility. I got my spinal cord injury, and it's called transverse myelitis. What was it like the first time you used HAL? Oh, oh my god. It's, it's really hard to describe in words, but it's pretty unreal, I think. This is the heart of an engineer, yeah. as we do, yes. to solve problems. Yes, this is a one of the Cyberdyne's road, I think. This is us moving beyond working next to machines. Instead, we're becoming one with machines. The benefits are obvious. But on a deeper level, it's giving patients back something they thought they'd lost forever. Hope. I believe that our technologies should be for the human and the human society. To help people. That's right, or to support the people. When you come to think of it, this is the fusion of humanity and robotics. And mobility is just the beginning. For my next and final stop, I'm off to explore how artificial intelligence can play a role in the evolution of robotics. <laughs>